the next team, Pitch Perfect, set out to make the lives of their peers and those who come after them easier by helping them to prepare for and solicit feedback on technical interviews. It's been a really useful tool so far. I'm looking forward to hearing them explain it a little better. Thanks, Ruan. Hi, my name's Christopher Gray, and along with my partners, Celine Otter and David Darso, we're thrilled to bring you Pitch Perfect, our application. It was designed to help engineers, developers, master the art of the technical interview. We do this by aggregating the top interview questions for uh, leading companies in the industry, and then using HTML5 video, we enable it so it's really easy to record your video responses to these questions, just like you'd be doing in an interview. Re-record it as much as you want until you get it perfectly. And then the part that I love the most is that you can securely share this with someone uh, who's an expert, colleague, a friend, and get specific annotated comments on your video so you know how to improve even more. Celine's going to walk us through the application. Let's take a look. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to see as a logged in user is a collection of interviews. These are fully searchable and they are crowdsourced so we can of course add to this collection. However, in our case, we're just going to select one. Let's go for Hack Reactor. And here we have a little bit more information. We have a quick description of what to expect. We can see there's two questions that will need to be attempted and the status of these, which in our case is unattempted. So let's start an interview question. We go through a, a series of quick instructions. And then we have a couple seconds to gauge with the interview question, which is purposely secret until this point. And then we're starting to record. So once we've created our awesome video, we stop the recording. We can see it live right in the browser. And we can, if we disliked it, we can re-record it as many times as we want. If we, once we've, we're satisfied with it, we can save it and share it with friends. There's two ways to, say, to share it. The first one would be through submitting an email. The second one is if your peer is in our system, we can just select a user. And if you keep your attention over here, you'll see this box will have been instantly updated. So now we have a notification that a friend wants us to review their video. So let's select it. We can watch the video right there in the, in the review browser. And we'll submit annotations as the video is rolling. The really crucial part is that each, each annotation is time bound to a specific moment in the interview, which, as you will see in a moment, why this is so important. Once so we're done, we will click done and switch back to our original user. So now we have an updated status. We now have created a response. We have a friend who's created a review for us. So if we select this, this is a really cool part is that we can now toggle between these annotations and it will sync the video to the exact moment in time. So if we have a 10 minute video, a 15 minute video, uh, we can make very fast feedback at very targeted moments in time. I'm now going to pass you over to David who's going to talk about the tech stack. Thank you, Celine. So uh, we used a traditional mean stack as our basic uh, technology stack. We're using a, a REST based API to separate the server and the client side uh, functionality. Our database is Mongo, and we used Mongoose as the ORM to connect to that. And the videos themselves are pushed up to Azure Cloud Services, um, where we store them there. When we play the video back to the browser, we don't actually bring it back down to our server. We load it directly to the client using a uniquely generated URL. It's time bound and it's secure. Um, that way, we don't. Um, it's a better usable experience for the users, and it is more cost efficient for us. Um, one of the other interesting things we're using in this project is the uh, video element from HTML5. The best thing about this is it doesn't require any third-party plugin, no Flash, no Silverlight, none of that. The um, HTML5 video plugin is still relatively new and it's unevenly supported on all the browsers right now, but that's where the web is going and that's going to be a future of video on the web. For the uh, responsiveness and collaboration um, effect of our application, we used Socket.io. Uh, the great thing about this is uh, once changes are made by one user, other users who need to be notified are notified instantly. It's a great way to make a web application very collaborative and uh, bring users together that way. So that's a brief overview of our technology, and uh, we're pitch perfect, and thank you very much.